Michael, welcome to Brooks Gibbs Live, brother. Thanks for calling. Around age three, I was diagnosed with what is now called autism spectrum disorder. Back then, it was called Asperger's syndrome, and frequently I had issues with socializing, communicating, and I really felt that like I'm going to have a really like hard time becoming successful as an adult because of my diagnosis. However, my mom would frequently say to me, Michael, autism um, should only briefly describe what I am. It should not define who I am. Here's what I know about you, Michael. Uh, I can tell that you don't mind disclosing to everybody what your struggle is, that you have difficulty with a little bit with anxiety, you have been diagnosed with autism, you're some level on the right. spectrum, you're highly functional, so you're able to keep a job and keep relationships and, and communicate with other people like yeah. you're calling me. The okay. more you yeah. disclose like that, all it does is make our hearts open wide and want to see you succeed. In my opinion, you have a cutting edge advantage with this challenge, with this difficulty, because you're willing to disclose and you're willing to learn. And it seems like you have your emotions under check. So you're not going to freak out on some customer that comes in or something like that. You're going to handle yourself right. really well. I'm not worried about right. you, Michael. People with autism, I think, have superpowers. They are typically highly advanced in another area and they're very skillful. And there's a great old verse in Psalm 139 that I, I love. It says, you formed my inward parts, God. You covered me in my mother's womb. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that word inward parts is the word kilie. It's my reins. That's how the King James puts it. You form my reins. You form my boundaries, my limitations, my disabilities. Isn't that incredible? We think God gives us gifts. Oh, that's you're just gifted by God. What about limitations? What about boundaries? What about reins? You know reins like on a horse with a bit in mouth and you go right, you go left. And that's what our lack of abilities do. They tell us what, we're, what we can't, or as Clint Easton would say, a man must know his limitations. When we discover in our youth and our young adultness, when we discover our limitations, it helps make it very clear the path in which we're to go. So do not hate yourself because you're limited. Look at guys like Michael, who's a big hero of mine tonight, who just says, you know what? I got this challenge, but I'm gonna keep on keeping on and I'm gonna remember the wisdom that's been given to me in my past.